So, <laughs> I just did this big blurb and I hadn't turned the camera on. How clever is that? So anyway, I haven't made a video for a week or two because the cat was sick. She got attacked. She got quite ill. We had to go to the vet. Um, so we just stayed put. Then my truck started making a really funny noise as well as the clutch being weird. And I had a lot of suggestions from Facebook and thank you to everybody who wanted to help but your mind does start kind of going down all sorts of scenarios and my mechanic from Tauranga he's a good guy Pete I trust him absolutely but he sort of said oh it could be a gearbox so you know we can do your clutch but can you make sure you've got a gearbox lined up because they can't get old Bedford bits that easily anymore either so I've still got to do that, but I don't think it's my gearbox. My gearbox still moans in third gear, but it always has done for three years. Um, they do that, <laughs> these old things. So yeah, at some point I'll try and find a better one, but that one was one where I had broken a tooth on my old one and it made a heck of a noise. It was so loud and I had to just grab one in Motueka when I was there. And... My mechanics down there, Dean's Trucks, they happened to have one and I bought it off the guy who still owned it, pretty cheap, 300 bucks, so can't grizzle, um, and they put it in, so I was on my way again, but it's not a wonderful gearbox, but it goes. So anyway, from what I could gather today, I put my little action cam under the truck, it's got a little mic, so it does record sound. I used duct tape and strapped it to a cross member. phone because I don't feel like lugging my camera around today. I'm sitting at the bus stop and I'm going to take the bus into town because there's a couple of small things I want to do and it's just handy not having to take the whole truck in and have a grumpy cat. I had a question recently, um, how do I make my videos? So I thought I'd show you in this one. Um, I'm actually going to turn this big light off because I don't really need it right now. And it uses quite a bit of power. That's my video light for when I do <laughs> um, sit down videos because it gets a bit gloomy in here. And yeah, I've sort of strapped it up there with wire ties so it can just stay there because it's a hassle to put it away all the time. There's my camera, it's a Sony A7 III with a Sigma 35mm 1.4 lens on it which I like using for my sit down videos and a Rode VideoMic Pro I use for audio because cameras don't record good audio nor do phones <laughs> but at the moment I have to use this one to just show what there is um, for you know running around with my camera recording video I use this little lens it's the kit lens but it's nice and light and small so that's good for that I've also got my photography lenses in there but I don't use them for video really um, I have a little action cam that I use sometimes depending on weather and things but I don't like the audio out of it it's nice because it's so little and handy you know <laughs> but yeah the audio is not the best and that's my little tripod and I put that under my camera when I'm running around with it it's just little and handy and nice I tried the Joby Gorilla Pods but I just find them horrible to hold on to <laughs> so yeah I haven't done that so yeah, these are essentially, that's essentially my kit. Um, once I've recorded, I go over here. 
<laughs> to my office where I also do my work and my laptop has cat paw prints all over it at the moment but that's where I edit my videos, that's a gaming laptop because an ordinary one just can't handle the software I use um, which is Adobe Premiere Pro and it's quite resource hungry so after recording a video I probably spend a few hours there editing it takes longer to edit than it does to record a video um, my sit down ones for my work channel are a lot faster but um, yeah the ones for this channel they have lots of clips lots of editing things like that but this is just a brief look at what I use to make videos so yeah this is a fairly new camera I had Canon gear beforehand but Canon just didn't seem to be going into any good direction and I wanted to go full frame for my photography so I sold everything and bought a Sony camera and some Sony lenses so yeah it simplified things because before I had a Canon 80D and a little Canon M50 because the 80D was so heavy and different lenses because they had different mounts and it was just a pain so I just wanted one camera and the lenses for that and that's it so that was just a quick look at all my filming gear well most of it <clears throat> I've got some other bits and pieces tucked away but I'll make a more more in-depth video about all that sometime um, but I just wanted to add it in here um, I'm going to be staying put where I am for a couple of days because I've got some important mail coming <laughs> and I wanted it to come to a post office not a countdown so yeah anyway lots of love to you all and thanks for watching and if you like this please subscribe and I'll see you all next time